Good morning everyone. As you can see this is HP all in one PC and the screen is completely gone. So we're going to replace it. And HP all in one PC especially that generation which has thin bezel. The model number is right here as you can see. This is 22 inch one. And the actual model number is 22-C0014NA. It's called NP22 All-in-One PC. So here is the replacement screen that I got it from eBay. And today we're going to replace it. So the actual replacement screen size is 21.5. Include the bezel is 22 inch. That's why this is called all-in-one PC 22 inch model so the first thing is we're gonna take out the adapter cable switch it off put it in a flat surface like that make sure the surface is clean and then those are the pad and under those pad two screws are hidden okay for the mount and then once the two screw has removed we can pull this out and there is a plastic bezel that covers up more screws in there so we can use flat opening tool to take this out okay it's not too difficult it's not easy to break that part you can just play with it a little bit and it should come out there are a few anchor plastic anchor in there so when you open it just be careful don't break anything okay sometimes it gets stuck as you can see nothing is broken now we can pull out this leg we can put it aside and then there are a few screws in there when you open all those screws make sure you use the right screwdriver which is Phillips standard size you know bigger is better so we're going to take out all the screws from here as I can see three of them one for the front bezel another two for the actual screen panel which is screen bracket you know at this point we need to remove all the screws from the screen bracket and all of them same in size so you don't need to organize it now let me tell you secrets of this replacement so when you try to pull out the actual screen it takes a lot of energy to be honest because there are three hidden anchors and the space is very narrow and very difficult to put any flat opening tool in reality it took about 15 minutes to figure out but in this video it shows like less than couple of minutes but believe me it's not that easy and when you pull it pull it from the bottom side to the top in that way it's going to come out easily okay what you should do give it a try slowly slowly then you'll be able to figure out there are three anchors on the side in both sides three of each so six in total and then when you remove those cable very careful you know those are easy to break it looks bigger inside but very fragile so as you can see I'm using the tweezer plus my fingertips it took a couple of minutes to figure this out and now we're going to disconnect this 40 pin connector LCD flex cable okay don't pull this before we remove that glue from here as you can see there are two push button it's not a button it's a kind of anchor okay when you push it it unlocks it same as like uh, west buckle and now we're going to remove all the screws from here 
to take this actual frame and we're going to put it back to the new replacement screen. All of them same inside, so you don't need to worry. You can just keep it any side. There is nothing to get wrong. So this is the actual frame that we have taken out. Now, <clears throat> this is the main panel. As you can see, the model number is right here and and the screen is cracked from here okay so you're going to replace it right so this is the main screen that you can see we're going to clean the surface make sure there is nothing and we're going to place it like here now we need to place this up here put back all the screws that we could see here So now here is the critical part that you need to be very careful. Make sure you connect it properly and before you push or pull, you check the alignment. If there is any obstacle, make sure the cable is flattened and both sides, the left and right connectors are flat and parallel. And now put the glue like that. There is some sort of adhesive anyway. I can see everything is fine, but from this point, I would suggest you please get some assistance from somebody else because one person it would be very difficult to put it back so if you have someone that can hold the screen and you can reconnect the actual LCD connector and the power connector both of them okay as you can see I tried myself to do I was failure then I get my friend to hold the screen and I reconnected that cable when you reconnect it make sure you gently do it because if you push too much you might break any pins and that would absolutely ruin your replacement okay it's going in now there is some sort of fabric tape in there and pretty much that's all now when you close it we have to close the front panel first okay I mean can you see the webcam this side first needs to go into the frame before we push it down the bottom side. I can see the light comes on before I closing it because it's very difficult to open and close. So I just double checked it. Everything looks fine. There is no dead pixel. So let's finally put it back. All right, so it's connected properly. Before I close, I gave it a check. So what we've done is we connected the cable which is very careful and it has to be faced like that as you can see the blue strip it should be facing towards the CMOS battery okay make sure the alignment is correct and then don't forget to connect that cable as well once you connect both of them and if you plug in the charger you're gonna see light in there which already we tested now when you close it back what you have to do we have to close the face first okay means the camera panel first and then we'll push it at the bottom okay first that then second that one so let's do it
So you can chew it like that, so we'll double check it. Now we're gonna put back those screws. Now we're gonna put back these two screws, as you can see on that one. So let's do it. Thank you. 